Thank you, Holy Ghost, this morning. God, I pray this morning we got a made-up mind, Jesus. He said, my soul followeth hard after thee, and thy right hand upholds me. Psalm 63, verses 8, God, before there's an upholding God, there's a following after. My God, this morning, I pray, God, that we'll rise and shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Isaiah 60 verses 1 God I pray that we get up and do what you called us to do Holy Ghost he said if any man come after me let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow after me Jesus said I gotta die to me you gotta die to you for so you can follow hard after me my God this morning many are saying it's hard to follow Jesus Jesus. No, it's not hard to follow after somebody you got a relationship with, who you talk with. When you get up in the morning and say, Jesus, I need you more now than I needed you yesterday. The redeemed of the Lord say so. He breathed into man and man became a living soul. Genesis 2 verses 7. My God, we have the breath, breath of God this morning. Do we have the Holy Ghost this morning? I, th- I thank you, Jesus. Do we have the breath, the rock of Jesus this morning? Because the dead don't praise God, neither they that go down into silence. My God, if you're redeemed, you should say so. My God, a say so that says, God, I'm following hard after after you Jesus God you be the glory thank you Jesus follow hard after you Jesus even when it's hard Jesus that's what he said let the redeemed of the Lord say so my God he delivered you so you wouldn't turn back he delivered you so you would open up your mouth in Joshua 6 Joshua the Lord commanded Joshua he said Joshua I want you to go around the city of Jericho six times and on the seventh day he said I want you to take the trumpet and I want you to blow it and I want you to shout I command you to shout I want you to shout and the walls shall come falling down but it took a people that obeyed God and after they obeyed God they learned to walk with God and after they learned to walk with God they learned to shout with God because he breathed breath it says the dead don't praise God neither they that go down in the silence my God if Jesus lives in you if the Holy Ghost lives in you you will shout there will be noise let the redeemed of the Lord say so whom the Lord had delivered out of the hand of the Almighty Psalms 107 verses 2 there's got to be some say so in your walk with God in Ezekiel 37 before the bones came to, it says after the bones came together it says Elijah prayed from the four Ezekiel prayed from the four winds of heaven and he said uh, the spirit of life breathe into him and then they rose up and became a great army my God we gotta get our breath back we gotta get the Holy Ghost back he says I will bless the Lord at all times his praise shall continually be in my mouth Psalms 34 verses 1 you gotta continue with God you gotta maintain your way before God though he slay me yet will I maintain my own ways before you Job 13 verses 15 he says though you slay me yet will I trust you and maintain when it comes walking with God there's got to be some maintaining there's got to be say God I got to maintain my walk with you 
That's how, that's why I won't quit. That's why I won't stop. That's why David said, I got to continually do it. I got to bless you in the good times. I got to bless you in the bad times. I got to praise you, God, when I can't even trace you. My God, that's what we need to do this morning. We need to get our walk back. We need to get the breath of God back in our life again. Because when we do, you'll start saying so. The preacher won't have to tell you to open your mouth and praise God because he says when my enemy is turned back they shall fall and perish at thy presence David's wife looked down at him in 2 Samuel 6 verses 14 and said look at him look at him down there praising God he danced before the Lord with all his might he was girded with the linen ephod which is praise and she looked at him said you are king David you shouldn't be taking your outer garments off oh David you shouldn't be dancing David but it said God God gave it to me my God I gotta praise him see praise is what you put on put on a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness Isaiah 61 verses 3 you gotta put it on Sister Janice, we got to learn to put it on. We got to learn to put it on when we feel heavy. We got to learn to put it in our mouth because when it starts getting in our mouth, it'll start getting in our heads and we'll start walking again. We'll start talking again. It says, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Nehemiah 8 verses 10. My God, on the day of Pentecost, it says they were filled with joy and the Holy Ghost. David said in Psalms 42 verses 11 he says why is thou so cast down on my soul why so disquieted within me I shall hope thou in God for I shall yet praise him for the help of his the help of his countenance my God you need help this morning my God you need to learn to yet praise him I yet praise him for the help of my countenance because when I start praising him my countenance will start changing the way I, I I, the way I look at things start changing. My God, we need some H-E-A-L-T-H this morning to come to our face. We need to get back with the joy of the Holy Ghost because that's where you get strength from. My God, this morning, many are saying, God, I need help, but you need your health back. And the only way to get your health back, you got to learn to say, nobody's going to help me, but I've learned to pat myself on the back and I've learned to maintain my way before you God and that's where I get help again that's where I get joy again that's where I get my strength again God you be the glory thank you Jesus Amen. oh give thanks unto the Lord for he is good and his mercy endureth for ever let the redeemed of the lord say so whom the lord hath redeemed out of the hand of the enemy psalms 107 verse 1 and 2 that's what the prophetess came out preaching come on somebody somebody say say so it ain't good enough to just say well I believe his mercy endureth forever no somebody shout the psalmist said oh give thanks oh give thanks don't mean just thank you Lord oh give thanks oh is not just the 15th letter in the alphabet it's an expression amen of excitement enthusiasm it's an emotional amen moment somebody say oh give thanks oh somebody shout that's what it means to say so that's how I declare God's deliverance me out of the hand of the enemy. My voice is heard. My lips are moving. I get a little loud about it. I say so. Oh, glory to God. Psalms 106 verse 10, when you back up in the previous chapter, it said, God saved them from the hand of the enemy and out of the hand of them that hate them. Yes. Woo. 
Somebody shout when they were shouting. They were shouting over being delivered from the one that tried to kill them. The one that was going to destroy them. Somebody, if you've been delivered from the devil, you ought to say and sound like the redeemed. Come on, somebody shout the redeemed. Still shout when they hear the word. They still shout when they hear the truth. Anybody hear the Holy Ghost?